In my earlier two ETF portfolio series, I covered several excellent combinations. If those portfolios catch your interest, feel free to check them out. But in this video, I'll walk you through a two ETF portfolio that can grow your wealth faster than most, focusing on high capital appreciation while providing a steady stream of passive income through dividends. That means you'll be earning money along the way. You won't need to wait until retirement to enjoy some of the benefits. This two ETF portfolio combines a growth ETF and a dividend ETF. A growth ETF offers the highest returns in the market without the risks of individual stock picking. It holds hundreds of stocks, keeping you diversified and saving you time and research, because let's be real, nobody has time to dig through dozens of companies. On the other hand, a dividend ETF is less risky than a growth ETF. For example, Vanguard's High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM, has a beta of 0.83 meaning it's less volatile than something like Vanguard Information Technology ETF, VGT, which has a beta of 1.16. As Investopedia explains, higher beta stocks tend to be riskier but offer greater potential returns. This is typical of growth ETFs. Lower beta funds like dividend ETFs are more stable but deliver smaller returns though they still generate regular income. Calling dividend ETFs low return isn't entirely accurate. Many pay monthly or quarterly dividends, giving you a solid source of passive income. In fact, some dividend ETFs perform as well as the S&P 500, and others come close. A better term for their returns would be average, not low like bonds or high-yield savings accounts. Pairing a dividend ETF with a growth ETF gives you the best of both worlds. Dividend ETFs help cushion your portfolio during recessions, as they tend to outperform other stocks in volatile times, so you'll be earning both short-term income and long-term returns. When picking your ETFs, choose ones that fit your risk tolerance time horizon and financial goals. Dividend ETFs offer stability, since they hold reliable companies like Coca-Cola, Home Depot, McDonald's, and Procter & Gamble, firms with strong balance sheets and business models. These companies are highly unlikely to go out of business and will keep generating profits and cash flow even during tough economic times. Many of these ETFs also increase their dividends annually, which helps offset inflation. If you're looking for reliable dividend funds, I recommend SCHD, VUM, VIG, DGRO, and others. If you want monthly dividend payments, funds like JPQ, JEPI, SPIDE, and DGRW are great picks. DGRW in particular has even outperformed the S&P 500 over the last decade. To start your investing journey, I highly recommend Moomoo. It's a free app where you can trade stocks, ETFs, and options with no commissions or contract fees. Moomoo provides essential data like ETF performance comparisons, top holdings, and sector breakdowns. Plus, they offer up to 15 free stocks when you make a qualified deposit along with 8.1% APY on uninvested cash for new users. Check the link in the description or the pinned comment to take advantage of these deals. The second category in this two ETF portfolio is a growth ETF. My top picks are QQQ, VUG, VGT, XLK, SMH, and others. These funds have dominated the market over the past decade, with semiconductor-focused ETFs like VGT and XLK delivering the highest returns. However, Growth ETFs can experience significant downturns. For example, QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, once suffered an 81% drawdown, taking 175 months to recover. This is why pairing a growth ETF with a dividend ETF makes sense. A popular combination is SCHD plus SCHG, Schwab's dividend and growth ETFs, which offers excellent diversification with minimal overlap. Using Portfolio Visualizer, let's compare three popular two ETF portfolios, each with a 50-50 allocation against the S&P 500 VOO. Over the last decade, SCHD plus SCHG average return of 14.3% annually, 1.3% higher than VOO. VIM plus VGT average return of 15.8% annually, 2.8% higher than VOO. DGRO plus QQQ, average return of 15.4%, though with a higher drawdown of 25.6%. If you had invested $100,000 in any of these portfolios back in 2015, you would have made more money than holding just the S&P 500. The SCHD plus SCHG combo gives you exposure to large caps, 76.3%, mid caps, 20.1%, and the small caps, 
However, the downside is limited international diversification. Most of the stocks are US-based. Still, you get a broad range of sectors, including tech, healthcare, finance, and consumer goods. This portfolio also offers a 1.93% dividend yield, which is higher than the S&P 500's 1.3%. So, if you had $1 million invested, your dividends would generate $19,300 annually, far more than the $13,000 you'd get from the S&P 500 alone. If you invest $500 a month for 25 years at the S&P 500's average return of 10% per year, you'd end up with about $622,000. But with this two ETF portfolio, which has averaged around 14% annually, you could grow your investment to over $1 million in the same time frame. This means more money, more dividends, and a faster path to millionaire status. A true win-win-win situation. To wrap things up, here are some excellent two ETF combinations to get you rich in the safest way possible. SDHD plus SCHG VIM plus VGT DGRO plus QQQ. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. This cute puppy will thank you. Be sure to check out my previous video on two ETF portfolios for long-term investing. Until next time, keep crushing it in the market. Peace.